So we have two mixed numbers and they're both negative and we have to multiply them. That's what this times means. So let's start off by converting these mixed numbers into fractions. So to do that, we'll do this. 3 times 5 is 15. I'll put it up here. And then you add this number here, plus 1. So you get 16. Again, 3 times 5 is 15. 15 plus 1 is 16. So you multiply and add, multiply and add. So 16 over, and then you just put this number here, 3. And the negative is still there. Times. Let's do this one now. So here we do 8 times 3, which is 24. And then 24 plus 3 is 27. So 8 times 3 is 24. 24 plus 3 is 27. You put that here, and then you keep the 8. Let's just check it one more time. 5 times 3 is 15. 15 plus 1 is 16. Boom, there it is. Oh, I forgot the negative. <laughs> 8 times 3 is 24. 24 plus 3 is 27. Boom, there it is. Now, uh, we're going to try to simplify if possible. So we can look at the diagonal terms. Looks like 8 and 16 can be simplified. So 8 goes into 8 one time. So you cross out the 8 and put a 1. And 8 goes into 16 two times. So you cross out the 16 and put a 2. See, And then now we do the same thing here with these. So 3 goes into 3 one time. Cross it out and put a 1. So it's a little bit harder. 3 goes into 27 nine times. So you cross it out and put a 9. All right, this is equal to. So negative and negative is positive, so the answer is positive. Then multiply straight across. 2 times 9 is 18. Oh, look at this. 1 times 1 is equal to 1. We actually get a whole number. So 18 over 1, and that's equal to 18. Completely unexpected. So cool. Um, did not expect that, so kind of a fun problem. Good luck.